Laura is paid $65.50. Thank you, Google Cloud Services, for messing up my formatting. But Laura is paid that much money for two hours of work. How much does she get paid for 20 hours of work? Everyone, this is a classic, classic proportion question. Check this out. We're trying to find this much money for 20 hours. All right, great. What information do we have? Well, we have $60.50 for two hours. My party people, pop quiz. What is the main idea behind proportions? This is a proportion because we're comparing money over time, money over time. So we're doing that, but what's the main idea? What's the main idea for proportions? Appreciate that. That's right. Compare the same things in the same way. So what does that mean? It means that if you compare hours to hours, that's going to be the same relationship. That's going to be the same exact comparison or association between money. So my party people, quick question. How do you go from two hours to 20 hours? What's the scale? What's the factor? What do you multiply two by to get 20? Yeah, you multiply by 10. So guess what, everybody? That's your scale. We are doing 10 times the amount of that relationship. $60.50 for two hours. If you're trying to go to 20, that's 10 times the amount. So from here to here, 10 times the amount that is going to be six hundred and five dollars clean and that gives us c right here and this is unit two proportion word problems so before you pay any huge amount of dollars or money to anybody claiming that they can help you pass the asvab you should always consider what they offer for free with us, we're gonna be offering our full program for free for a full week. All you gotta do is do that right there or scan that QR code and you'll get access to all of our classes, practice problems, courses, everything for a full week so you know exactly how it works and you have the exact confidence that you need to raise your score. Get started now. I'll see you in there.